Chase Tree and Tractor Service with 25 years of experience in tree removal. Serving the mid coast of Maine, licensed and insured Maine arborist. Whether it's a pesky blowdown or a hard to get tree that needs removal. When you need an experienced professional, Jake Chase is the man for the job. Call 207 242 8961 or email him at chase tree and tractor service jc at gmail.com. LCTV is your nonprofit community media station. Please donate at lctv.org to keep us strong. Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome to What's Up Time. I'm Larry Seidlinger. Favorite time of the week, my man Bobby Weir, the mayor of the mills here, TV Toby walking around thinking it over. We got Brandon in Haven behind the camera. Dave's set. got a little time off. Dave's got a little time off. He's having a little cataract surgery and yep. uh, straightening those eyeballs out. And uh, <laughs> we're, we're wishing him well there. Uh, Bobby, what's new in the mills? Well, the mills is... Uh... What's the, I went up by the cabinet house the other day there. That... that Superstructure that the, they got—the most amazing set of staging, staging in the history I, of the world. Wow! I mean, that I, they must have a million dollars worth yeah. of freaking staging there. I tell you, they and they don't mind. People tell me they stop in, they talk to the builders. And, you know, they don't mind talking. And they've got that other little smaller building there jacked up. Yep. And they got to put that on a foundation yep, or yep, something. Yep. And they built a they built a uh, replica in the back. They tore off a section off the back, and they built a they. Re Built it the same way, and that's going to be their summer place. Oh, no. What are they going to do with the big place? I don't know. <laughs> I think you should run a hotel there. Larry. Yeah, you could. You yeah. could. You know, you bed and breakfast, and you do yeah, a wine job. Well, up the there. sewer is up there. The sewer. The town sewer is up yeah. there. Yeah. It'll, well, close, you know. <laughs> what's, a, what's another 50000 <laughs> no, no. to get into the sewer? No, but, no, no big deal. Uh, yeah, no so. big deal. What else is going on? What's, well, what's in the paper this week? Well, we got, it's Comp Plan City up here. We got Boy, people Bristol in Bristol got, are not happy. Bristol is, they packed that Bristol school. Yeah, Dave to, actually filmed that, and, oh, yeah. and it's uh, it's available to watch. Yeah, so there are, uh, you know, people are very concerned about uh, Bristol. Try, people want it to stay a little village, you yeah. know? It's, well, you know, it's a, it's a, well, three or four little hamlets is, makes up Bristol. And uh, Newcastle's got a comp plan going on. There's people aren't happy. No. Um, so. It's like it's like how can we how can we make our citizens unhappy? Yeah. Let's have a plan. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so how about yeah. this character of the county, Rachel Alexander. Don't know her. Yeah. Rachel. Um, she <coughs> is a Excuse four, me. She grew up in Wiscasset and. Uh, she loved living in West Cassidy and growing up there and being able to walk downtown and all this stuff. Then the family moved to Alna, and she didn't have much to do. Well, it's a long so, walk from Alna to West yeah. So anyway, so she started walking around Alna, and she discovered um, there are things that you can pick on the side of the road that you can eat. So she became a forager, and she's an authority on it now. But anyway, I never knew her. Yeah, um, it's... Uh Interesting. Uh, my man Landon Stewart here. Uh, yeah, Larry it, knows him. I do know this young man. He uh, He's a sideline fixture. His dad is a football coach over in Madama. He's yep. one of the assistant coaches. And he is a team uh, honorary manager mm -hmm. and uh, part of the team. And it just uh, just a big cheerleader for the football yep. squad. And he's a pretty good uh, United team basketball player. He loves okay. to play that United basketball. He, Pretty cool. Okay. Well, Larry said to me, he said, when Madonna scores a touchdown, now Landon you don't watch the player, you watch Landon. <laughs> Landon's into it. He likes to score. Yeah, it's good stuff. So, yeah. AOS 93. So, I got a problem with this. This, this IT, we're going to pay $130,000 a year for an IT. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I yeah. What, 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 where do these prices come from? Well, 130000 for him, and then there's a couple more. Uh, administration people um, that they want to add and uh, so people are thinking what is this so <clears throat> but how about the principal hearing schools are 
schools are taking up all the news. All, here. all the front so, pages. Anyway, yeah. the Wisconsin School Committee, you know, they got the thing going on with Gina Stevens. They have her on administrative leave. And uh, so they've canceled that. Uh, so Wisconsin. next Wednesday and Thursday night, mm -hmm. they're going to talk this over. Two nights. I wonder why they cancel it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is why, because Stevens' lawyer. If yeah. I had read the story, I would have known. Yeah. He can't make it. Yeah. Okay. Lawyer can't make oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. They never can make it. <laughs> no. No. They haven't done their homework. That's yeah. Translation. All right. Well, anyway, got a hate crime going up, which is something you hate to see, a hate crime going up on there in uh, Somerville. There's uh, trash being distributed on this lady's front lawn. And so, anyway, he, she knows it's a hate crime. It's a neighbor. Uh, she knows who it is. I'm uh, surprised they're not recording their meetings now. I mean, everybody's recording huh. their meetings. Yeah. Even if you're not going to put them on public access TV or anything, you know, at least you have a digital copy for later, right. you know, disputes. Well, you, if you, disputes. If you need to who go said back? what? Yeah. He said, she said. Then the lawyers might be ready for They, they might be. <laughs> you know, if they watch enough TV. Yeah. 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 So... Well, we've covered page one. All well, your life you will be safe, faced with a choice. You either love to choose to love or to choose to hate. I choose to love. Yep. Johnny Cash. That's, that's Hugh Preeb. He chooses to love. He's retired. He, he's loving it. He's done. Yep. He's done. I didn't so. realize that he was, you know, well, maybe he's not old enough to retire. Maybe he's just made enough, had enough. Right. So, you know, he's and he, and Hugh did a pretty good job. He, yeah. Was, he was, I mean, I worked with him around the Pumpkin Fest and whatnot. Yep. And, he was uh, Johnny on the spot. Well, so. you know, he had a, tr a one-man band with a truck. Yeah. And uh, if he needed help, he'd recruit it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I see Dan Riscotta. They're going to change the may change that banking system. They may. Um, they uh, they're going to they want to put things out there. They want to want Bangor Savings is yeah. Yeah, you because know, they were Dan Riscotta Bank and Trust, right. and then they switched with Bangor Savings, but... And I had to laugh, this guy, Dan Hunter, is a retired Banker. bank president, yeah. you know, so, so I mean, he probably thinks he can save them a lot of money yeah. and whatnot, you know, banks well, are in to make money. Well, they, uh... That's the way it goes. He wants to keep all the banks honest in town, and we know we have enough banks. And, did you see that? Mikey Martin's retiring down in Hancock, Lumba. Miracle. Yep, 1220, big day is his last day. Wow. That must be 1220, must be like next Thursday. Yeah, Mike's, uh, Mike's ordered a lot of stuff for sure a lot has. of people. Sold a lot of two-by-fours. <laughs> Sold a lot of two-by-fours. Yep. So. He was a heck of an athlete in high school. Was he? Oh, heck of an athlete. No Baseball. Kidding. Baseball no kidding. player. Yeah. Yeah, I know he likes sports. Yeah. Yeah. So the, uh, how about the Newcastle, uh, they're looking at their accounts. They got all this money in different accounts, and they're reviewing all these accounts, which have been, uh, they haven't had an audit since June of 2021, and of course they got Kevin Sutherland's in there, he's a new uh, town manager, Larry? Or town manager. Manager, yep. yep, Kevin's a new town manager in Newcastle, so he's coming in as a, you know, a newbie looking and going, what are all these accounts? So, they're looking at that. Yeah. So. Yeah. The dioramas are on sale, they're on, on display there, Jake Days. Yep, they're, they're very, very proud of those, and they set those up every year for the public. And uh, so, what do I, I wonder what those are worth. I don't got no idea. Unbelievable. No idea. Uh, Wisconsin Planning Board, they're forwarding ordinances changes <laughs> to the select board. So, anyway, the... Uh, and you know, Wisconsin I school, middle school, high school teachers over there, they're saying that the, quote, school climate is uh, not good over there. They're yeah. saying the kids are not happy. Yeah. That a couple of the teachers said that they're, they're doing, going above and beyond um, their workload is, you know, and it's a lot to do with mental health of the, te of the students. Yeah. You know, they're well, all that turmoil over there, I'm sure, is not helping matters. Well, they're dealing with a lot of behavioral issues. And yeah. uh, I know, didn't behave well in school either. Well, so. I mean, probably my teachers suffer yeah, the same I thing. Know, <laughs> I know a couple of my teachers, uh, they didn't finish a teaching career. No, I know that. No. I, had a, I had a den mother in Cub Scout had a nervous <laughs> breakdown. <laughs>
<laughs> Did you get the badge, merit badge for that? No, I, well, I didn't, I didn't get past Cub Scouts. I was devastated. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. The yeah. Chewanke, uh, visit, visit from Chewanke carries over to Wisconsin students. They go over to uh, Hidden Valley Nature Center. And, jeez, uh, I noticed in the paper here that um, Hardy Roots is... They're doing quite a job, yeah, aren't they? they got a big grant and... They, uh, they, they, they're just very uh, visible yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. That, there's my buddy Lanny Winching back. Dug a lot of clams, Lanny, back 40 years ago. Yeah. Good guy. Yeah. Good guy. He, yeah. he talked about baseball player. He was a, quite a baseball player. Yeah. yeah. Waterboro had a whole slew of baseball players. They did. Players. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But Lanny didn't just stick to clams. No, he, he went he worming switched, and fishing and everything switched, else. He switched back and forth. Mar he, yeah, married a girl whose dad was a lobster fisherman, and Lanny sat right in and went lobstering. He worked hard, done well for himself. Yep, they got a new, um, they got a new planning board member up there in uh, Walderboro, a guy by the name of uh, Stark. And uh, so anyway, the uh, Eric Stark, he's a realtor. And uh, I learned that the, uh, his daughter is the one that runs the Waldeboro Inn, which is next to... Oh, okay, right next, next to, to the Waldo there. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so my phone's ringing, but yeah, we that, I was going to say, are you just ringing Christmas yeah, chimes in the background? Yeah, or is that no, your uh, that's, phone? They're supposed to be shut off. We won't tell yeah, anybody. Yeah. Bobby's supposed to have his phone shut off, yeah, but we right. don't tell anybody yeah, that. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. Yeah. How about this? What about this firearm safety? Geez, I know it. I know. They teach in firearm safety in school? It just I, it sounds like it. Adult ed. Adult ed, like pistol it. safety, and boy, I don't know. How about Edgecombe? Boy, this is going to be time for Edgecombe is uh, now. They haven't had a reevaluation in uh, a long time, a long time. And so anyway, their town is being reevaluated, you know. The, uh, you know, well, 15 O'Donnell's, years, Bobby. 15 years. 15 years. And Larry, did you see it cost $300,000 to uh, evaluate a town? Yeah. Could you, in real estate, you could yeah. walk by and do it for I mean, half many, that, couldn't you? How many, I wonder how many houses divide, how many houses are around Edgecombe divided into 300,000? How do you, how many you suppose, we well, suppose Edgecombe's got a town of probably 1,000? Yeah, about 1,200 people. Yeah, but maybe? they have to go property by property. But three hundred thousand—that's that's a lot of money, that's, isn't it? Uh, and I know this uh, Donald Associates. So, I know Bobby, been, let's see. You're going to spend three hundred thousand dollars to get your town evaluated. Yeah. So that right there in itself, how much is that going to cost the thousand people that live there? Yeah, right. You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's three hundred dollars for that thousand right there. Yeah, you know? it'll be. <clears throat> so you know the taxes are going up. Yep. Cameron Rennie's going to run a, a office down at eight to ten on Friday, December fifteenth down at the uh, Perch Cafe in Waldebro, cute little place, and you can go down there and uh, talk to our state representative, and uh, she'll hear your concerns. Yeah, the commission's got a $100,000 grant, Lincoln County Commissioners. Yes. From yes, a community development block. Grant. Yeah, yeah. Good for them. Nice picture of my friend Jen Ribeiro here talking at the uh, AL Bristol School Committee, they uh, they don't want to even talk right now about merging all the schools together. Nobleboro does not want it. No, nope. they're out. And uh, no, that's just yeah, that's just wasted auction talking that over. Well, let's go in the editorial page here. Yeah, money well, always works. Well, you got to talk about all them. They got a special special town meeting to talk about their new code enforcement officer. Yeah. And, uh, and Westport's uh, going to have a meeting to meet the new snow, snowplow contract. Right. Yeah. Boy, all these social events. I know it. That oh. sounds like a get big one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Glenn, he's got another good. He just every week surprises me with what yeah. his his editorial cartoon. Right. I got to, oh, I got to wish my uh, friend Andy Dickoff 70th birthday. That's today. right. Yeah. Today. 70 today? Yeah. Good for Andy. Yeah. Andy yeah. be down the grill right now as we're showing. <laughs> Hardy, You'll turn it on tonight. You got you got duty tonight, right? Yeah. Hardy Roots, what I mentioned earlier, um, they 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 won an outdoor innovation award. So anyway, they uh, 
They should be proud of themselves. Yeah. And how about this? Uh, I don't have a chance in heaven in, in uh, identifying the Waldenboro Historical Society. What is it? Yeah, not a clue. Yeah. Not uh, a clue. Uh, well, uh, anyway, they, they give the answers from week to did, week. I don't know. Did they answer last week? Yeah. Uh, Lori she did. Well, she did. The first person to correctly identify. A tree what candle it? clip? A tree? Oh, of course it was. You knew that, right, Bobby? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> we knew that. A tree <laughs> candle clip. Yeah. Jeez, I would have taken super glue and Now, I'm thinking the... that that is some kind of a thing you might put over a thumb guard or something. It <laughs> protects your hand. Yeah. Well, they don't... Billy, you got to tell us how big this thing is. Yeah, really I don't know. You got to have more clues, Billy. Yeah, we, have more clues. we do. St. Patrick's yeah. Christmas Carol Sing Along is December 16th, and uh, it's going to be at the St. Patrick's Museum. Yeah. Um, where's the St. Patrick's Museum? I have no idea. There you go. Well, St. Patrick's. Uh, probably it's probably St. Patrick's, original, maybe. It's probably the original church. Probably. I probably. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. How about this? Uh, this is interesting. The Lincoln Health, they have a actual school-based health center at these high schools, you know, and they have uh, Annie Pat McKenney from the Kaloum Center. She's talked, talking, they interview her here, and they got three qualified people that are going to be staffed at different high schools. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Lord knows they got a lot to deal with these yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. I see uh, Lincoln Academy is hosting an in-person prospective student visit. Yeah. 140 local 8th grade kids go up there and talk to high school kids. Yeah. Good for those kids for answering. Yeah. I know most well, of them are girls on the panel. Yeah. There's only one guy well, there. Well, there was one girl that said she was kind of nervous. Yeah. You know, but once things got going, she said it, it flowed pretty, yeah. pretty smoothly. Yeah. And, uh, and we got this other program, Sticker Shock. And uh, it's, they go in and sticker, um, Rand Maker and Billy Smith and Jake Abbott and Karen Ann Hager. They go around to all the different stores that sell liquor and they put these stickers on it, which kind of is a little reminder that you've got to be 21. You've got to be 21. Yep. Yeah. And you shouldn't be Probably buying. that well, it should have been uh, when we were kids, Bobby. Yeah. That probably should have been on the. Yeah, they should have started <laughs> sticker shock back then. But, uh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's get on for secondhand bookstore. Larry, here's your here's your in. Yeah. All the cookbooks are half price. All of them half yeah. price. So anyway. I just went down to the bookstore last week and dropped fifty dollars on three grunt John Grisham no, no Okay. Books. Got yeah. one and a half of them done. Well, you could go with the cookbooks now. They're yeah. half price. When yeah. uh, December seventeenth, which is Sunday, they got a pol they're showing the Polar Express at the Waldo Theater. And you can grab yourself a free hot chocolate. Yeah. Hannaford's uh, generous, as they always are. They donated $1.3 million to the Maine Council on Aging. So, Lord knows this state is aging. Yeah, we are aging. It's the oldest state in the country. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're in the oldest county in the state. Yeah, we're sitting in the oldest place in the world. <laughs> we're just old, Bobby. We got that qualified. We're old. Yeah. I, they should show that some night. When we, I remember, remember years, yeah. it was probably a couple of years ago, we realized they threw it out there that Maine's the oldest state. Yeah. Lincoln County's the oldest county. And we actually we had an aha moment. <laughs> nah. We realized that we're we're, sitting, we must be old. We, yeah. Bobby, we qualify. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting there. Yeah, so, the obituaries, uh, Doug Cam our buddy Doug Cameron passed away. Yeah, that was, that's yeah. tough. And Travis Morton, that was kind of sad. Yeah. It happened there. A lot of obituaries. There always is at Christmas time. Camden National, they gave $2,000 to the Leaders and Luminaries Award. Hmm. Who won that? New Hope Midcoast Representative. New Hope for Women, I guess. Got a bake sale going on at AIM Supply. Yeah. Uh, give a little plug for our buddy Wayne over there, right? Oh, good Wayne, man. Wayne's a big uh, Was Up fan. He is. Yeah. Yeah. And Wayne and Jeff both. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeff, he's retired. He's watching the hay grow. Probably not watching it grow too much right now, though. Yeah. <laughs> 
I talked to Wayne last week. I saw him last week. I think I stopped, got some dog food and whatnot. And I saw Wayne. I was talking to him for a few minutes. I says, how's, you, how's Brother Jeff doing? Oh, he says he comes down two, three times a week. Just see what's going on. And yeah. Something to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was his life for a lot of, a lot of years. King Road Market is open, huh? That is open. So yeah. I got to stop down there and say hi. Yeah. We've got a, some Christmas Eve service in <coughs> Bristol Mills. It's going to be December 24th. Um, this year it's going to be at 4 p.m. That's a good time for Christmas yeah. Eve, right? Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good time. In the town of Bristol, they got to have a special for a trade. Wow, they got $39,000 they got to come up with to, yeah. for uh, some uh, repairs. Re repairs and equipment over I think over the scale the is. I can't remember. Somebody told me what the scale station. was. Yeah, scale down there had to be repaired. Yep. Yeah. Thirty-nine thousand. Yeah. So they gotta find the money somewhere. Yeah. As I man landing in a picture of him, he making his dog cookies. I gotta find some of them for Toby. See, Toby likes dog cookies. What's going on? Wow. Oh, sports, man! It's Lincoln uh, Academy. Lincoln, is, they're scoring some points. They're they putting eighty tonight on the board. Eighty-three points, two games. Yeah. One against Morse, one against Cape Elizabeth. And uh, geez, Cape Elizabeth only scored forty-nine points. Yeah. You think they were good had, defensive uh, effort both both games? Wow. Anyway, yeah. yeah and and Madonna Valley, they they put seventy-five on the board. So I mean, they're no slouches yeah. either. And they had a tough one against Camden the other night, but uh, they beat Levitt pretty good. And big one tomorrow night, and I don't know if it's live streamed or not. It's not going to. They won't let us in the gym over there. They don't want any other people coming there. But Oceanside and. Madame Valley, mm -hmm. probably Oceanside is certainly one of the top teams in the state. Mm -hmm. They they put 110 points on the board. The Galley mm -hmm. kid had 51. How many times Oceanside draw from? Oh, a number. You know yeah. they've got Rockland, Spruce Head, yeah. St. George, yeah. uh, Thomaston. Some kids I think from Warren can go there. Yeah. I'm not. No, I'm maybe not. I'm not sure about that. But quite a few. Yeah. Tenants Harbor. You know, a bunch of them. The other thing Lincoln Academy has got going on, they got a wrestling team to beat the band. Yeah. They, uh, one of the Hager boys there. And you got. And I'll tell you big news, the Wiscasset boys picked up their first win. Good for them. In overtime. In overtime. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. In overtime. Yeah. Yeah. Wiscasset girls, they lost their opener. Yeah, the boys dropped their season opener too, but... Uh, I think Madomic's at, I mean, Lincoln's at Winslow tomorrow night, I think, or something. I'm not sure. Well, yeah. they're getting ready to put the bell up in the uh, New Harbor Methodist Church. 800-pound Manili bell. It was cast in 1912. And uh, so we got, um, we got that going on over there. Yeah. Think that. That'd be pretty interesting watching that bell. Remember when they put the steeple on the Baptist church here? Yeah. What, 10, 12 yeah. years? That was pretty interesting. Yeah, I was inside it. Oh, was you? I was inside it when they dropped it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ah, cool. and my, your buddy Don Carrigan was sitting on the sidewalk because they yeah. wouldn't let him in. Huh. The bell people said, oh, no, only LCTV. Ah, no kid. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Bremen has their Christmas party over there at the uh, fire station, and they... They love doing it. They absolutely, the firemen love doing it. Saw Bruce Poland yesterday, right? I saw him last night. Last yep. night. Yep. yep, Chief Bruce. Yep. Chief Bruce. Yeah, we got through Section 1, folks. Hope you're still not asleep yet. No, don't Charlie fall Charlie Brown Christmas. He's going to be over to Edgecombe. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Chocolate is a romantic uh, movie that's going to be over at the Harbor Theater. And... Uh, so we'll you get, still do those romantic movies? Yeah. You well, outgrown them. If I, well, if, if I can stay awake, <laughs> you know. Cause not, staying awake is a bad part. Because the beginning, <laughs> not, nothing gets ramped up. So. No, no. you got to watch it for an hour and a yeah. half before you can, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't make, sometimes I can't make an hour and a yeah, half. Right. Food and film series, that goes on yeah. at, at the uh, Harbor Theater. Yeah. And uh, got an author coming, Corbin Lichtinger. Um, He's over there, and he's welcoming New York Times best-selling author Peter Brown to the Edgem Private School. Huh. Well, we're in trouble, Bobby, because I've lost a section of my paper. 
<laughs> you did. I guess so. Well, well you, then oh, you're, you're not, going backwards. That's the problem. Well, you're on the back section oh, and okay. the front section. Yeah, well, things, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like to mix it up a little bit. So I, I just know that this page <laughs> is telling me that there's 750,000 lights yeah. at the Gardens <laughs> of Glow. I wonder what the count is. It's 10,000 people, yeah. 50,000. Who knows yeah, how many thousand that's people? A lot. We got, that's how a about lot. this big game hunter? Boy, she's 13 year old boy. She's got quite a. Yeah. She's into it. Yeah, she's got she's got a hundred game animals. Yeah. She can't possibly have shot all those. She's yeah. only thirteen. Yeah, she started when she was six, though. Yeah, well, maybe. She got twenty turkeys last maybe. year. Maybe. I mean, the lady must be sitting in front of her house with a gun. I get missed a, getting a deer one time since in six years. Yeah. She must think like those. That's yeah. good. Well, like, we know that's good. All ramping up for their. Uh, their Hundredth anniversary. Yeah. Now, what page are you on now? Oh, I'm on the. Uh, let's see, what page am I on? Where it you? says at the top. Oh, we, yeah. Right. This is the beginning. Page one. Page one. All right. Yeah. But you know, we're, we're a little lost here this morning. See, we're about dying a day behind the camera, so we're a little, yeah. little lost here yeah, this morning. We need, we need coaching. Marilyn Beans, she's still cranking them out up there. Greetings, yeah. dear readers. Marilyn Beans world. On another Link, journey for another week. Lincoln Academy's got two new educators in residence from Kiev Wavis. We got a gentleman by the name of Will Bliss and another guy by the name of Gus Williams. And uh, there's a new Kiev Wavis education edu educators in residence. A um, couple big promotions there for Camden National. Yep. Yeah. I How many banks Camden National? Six? What's how many? Maybe six. What? Canada National, how many banks they got? Oh, I don't know, like 40, 35. Oh, really? 40. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. They're the second biggest bank in the state. Okay. Huh? Wow. <clears throat> first National's third, Bangor's the first. Bangor's twice as big as the rest of them. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Well, Bobby, we just about well, done. Well, don't forget here. the uh, ukulele concert. How oh, I can't miss that one. Yeah, it's good on for strummers. So, anyway. Is that Paul Campbell's crew? Maybe. Could be. Could be. Could be. And we got to, you know, we really should take this, Larry, because it would really ramp our show up a little bit. But they got a uh, you think eight, he's ramping week, up? <laughs> eight week scene. They got to study a class, an uh, acting class, and from a former uh, Broadway uh, guy. And uh, so anyway, he's, Bobby, eight weeks. I can't. I can't pay attention that long. Well, no, it's it's eight, it's uh, they're a week apart. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. you you'll be able to take a break. Recover. For, well, you can take a break for six and a half days. Yeah. And then go back to the. How about this uh, goat cheese and leek tomato pie? That almost sounds good. I'm not um, sure about the leek part of it, but almost. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yellow Brick Road third, uh, at the Lincoln Theater, Sunday afternoon. Adam Ezra, Saturday night, 7 o'clock. At the Waldo. At the Waldo. There's a couple of great shows coming out. Yep. And uh, we still got tickets for Elton John, but they're going fast. Mm -hmm. They are going fast. Yep. Just give the LCT a call here. We got it, Bobby. We've just about done it. Well, you got a big weekend planned? It looks like all music. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. That it? all Adam Ezra's, yep. all his fans are coming, staying at the Mill Pond Inn. Cool. Cool beans. Uh, well, folks, yeah. we thank you for uh, struggling through this 30 minutes of what's up. I'm Larry Seidling, and he's the mayor of the mill, Bobby Weir. We got 15 we got... seconds to let you know I got a new plate. You got oh, what's up? You, that's right, you see the plate. Right? We got to get a picture of that and show yeah. everybody that. That'd be cool. Hopefully, Brandon's going to do that up. <laughs> next week, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. No. <laughs> <laughs>